how we live in. We had bats, real bad. Were bats actually coming through that? Bats were yes, the they was. From drugs to prostitution to mold and bed bugs, people at a local public housing complex say enough is enough and reached out to CBS 17 to get answers. New tonight, people living at Stewart Manor took their concerns to the Housing Authority Board. CBS 17's Maggie Newland has more tonight from Sanford. People deserve to be treated like human beings, and they deserve to have a pl safe place to live. But Carla Hooker says she doesn't feel safe in her home. She showed us four police reports she's filed since she moved into Stewart Manor about three years ago. The last police report I filed was for someone trying to break into my apartment while I was in there during broad daylight. Some of these residents have lived here for years and say Stewart Manor wasn't always like this. We had access to vans to be able to go to the store to be able to take trips to see Christmas lights. Now they tell us they're more concerned about prostitution and drug dealing in and around the building. That's my home, and I want to feel secure in my home. Several residents showed CBS 17 their apartments last week and said they worry about mold, bats, and bed bugs. Since then, they tell us a few things have been fixed or at least documented. But most people here aren't holding out much hope for change. They um, took inventory of everything that was wrong in my apartment, but none of that was taken care of except for my garbage disposal. And I woke up to a tub full of uh, dirty water. We take all of their comments and their issues very seriously. At least one member of the Housing Authority Board promised to attend a meeting with residents next week. What is your biggest concern that you heard tonight that you think needs to be addressed right away? Um, the overall safety of the building, um, you know, whether that's the lights going out, um, the illegal activity that they've talked about, um, I, I would like to address all of that. Can you guarantee these people here that something will be done? Yes. It, it's not going to happen overnight, but yes, we are working on it. Board members say they'll send residents letters in the mail explaining how their concerns will be addressed. In Sanford, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.